You're listening to today's inspirational message on the Proverbs with Kurt Bjorklund. Today we turn to Proverbs 27, and as we've said several times throughout this journey, I'd strongly encourage you just to read the chapter of Proverbs each day during the week and let each uh, day maybe be in a different version for you, as that will help you just to see things that maybe you wouldn't see otherwise. And certainly as we talk through these chapters, we aren't covering every verse uh, in detail, but really looking for an overarching theme. And if I were to choose the theme of Proverbs 27, I would say that although there are a lot of different Proverbs, you could say that the theme here has to do with friendship. Verse 17 is one of the iconic verses in Proverbs. It says, iron sharpens iron and one man sharpens another. And the little footnote uh, says it sharpens the face of another in Hebrew. That's in the ESV. I think the uh, RSV talks about a person's countenance. And so this is really this idea that people have an important impact on our lives And the people that are closest to us have an especially important impact on our lives. And this theme has come up over and over. But what I'd like to do this week is really talk about the idea of friendship as we see here in chapter 27. And I believe there's really uh, four or five uh, ways to consider friendship here. And this really goes well with Derek Kidner's Uh, friend subject study at the beginning of his little commentary. On page 45 of his little commentary on Proverbs, he talks about a good friend and he says in Proverbs, and he's speaking of the whole of Proverbs, there are four elements of friendship. He says constancy, candor, counsel, and tact. And so you could say, just looking at Proverbs 27, we do see constancy or faithfulness, which we see in verse 10. And probably also in verse 1, 2, depending on how you want to see that. We see candor, uh, verse 6, faithful are the wounds of a friend. And that idea of really how a friendship uh, has both the idea of speaking something that we need to hear and then also doing it with a bit of tact. Um, Now, he uses tact or consideration separately. But this is in verse 14 that talks about coming to somebody too early in the morning. Counsel is in verse 27, um, where we read about this in verse 9. And you might also include, and this is why I said there's maybe another word, challenge, which is in the idea of iron sharpening iron. It's in the idea of prudence and attending a fig tree and the idea of considering your flocks or knowing the state of your affairs. And all of these things really push to what makes a good friend. And so today I just simply want to talk about this idea of constancy. Verse nine says this, oil and perfume make the heart glad and the sweetness of a friend comes from earnest counsel. Verse 10, do not forsake your friend or your friend's friend, and do not go to your brother's house in a day of adversity. So verse 10 talks about the faithfulness, not forsaking your friend or even uh, your father's friend, saying that friendship and faithfulness and constancy are really significant when it comes to friendship. Both the people that you allow into your inner circle and the people or the way that you interact with others. Derek Kidner again writes it this way. He says, fair weather friends are many in Proverbs, but there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother, Proverbs 18, 24, and loveth at all times, Proverbs 17, 17. In the case the reader should think only of the friendship he hopes to receive, he is urged to give this kind of loyalty, Proverbs 27, 10, which we just read, especially to the old friend of the family who easily could be dropped in the search of new company, but whose staunchness would stand any test. And so one of the ways that you are a good friend is being faithful even to those who've been around a long time and seeing who is faithful to you. And if you've been hurt by friends who maybe abandoned you for new company, maybe just simply weren't there in an hour of need, you know how sweet it is when friends 
uh, show up for you and are reliable. And that is the quality of friendship. And as Derek Kidner points out, it's a beautiful thing because Jesus is ultimately the friend who demonstrates being closer than a brother and being ultimately faithful and reliable even when we are not. Thanks for joining us here today. There's a lot of great content to explore on Orchard Hill Plus and on the Orchard Hill main feed from the weekend. Have a great day. 